Hello guys, good day. Welcome to Ram's Tutorial. In this video guys, we are going to discuss or tackles about the classifications of animals, animals without backbones, and animals with backbones. Please watch this video and we are going to discuss or explain thoroughly what is the difference between the two of these. Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial! Good day everyone! Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. In today's video guys, we're going to discuss about animal classifications referring vertebrates and invertebrates. When you say guys about vertebrates and invertebrates, we know that vertebrates talks about animals with backbones. Invertebrates it talks about animals without backbones or without vertebral columns. Now, vertebrates class animals with backbones. Are animals with backbone inside their body? An animal with spinal cord surrounded by cartilage or bone. The word comes from vertebrae, the bones that make up the spine. And that's referring to vertebrates. The keywords, guys, when you say it, vertebrates is animals with backbone. This is what you call the keyword for vertebrates words. And what are the examples of vertebrates, Sharam? So vertebrates, we have birds, frog, monkey, turtle, shark, dinosaur, and stingray. These are examples of vertebrae, vertebrates rather, or animals that have a backbone, or with the presence of spinal cord that was surrounded by their cartilage or surrounded by their bones. Whereas in vertebrates class is animals without backbone. Okay, this is the keyword. When you said invertebrates, that means to say animals without backbone. Okay, or without vertebral column. Again, invertebrates are animals without backbone or vertebral column. And what are the following examples of invertebrates animals? We have sea urchins, squid, clams, leeches, starfish, and snail. These examples are what we call invertebrates or animals without backbone. Again, the difference about vertebrates and invertebrates, we have vertebrates, animals with backbones, or these animals with spinal cord surrounded by cartilage or bone. Or this word comes from vertebrae, that means with the presence of bones that make up the spine. Whereas invertebrates, animals without backbone. Okay, that is an invertebrates. The following examples again see our chins, squid, clams, leeches, starfish, and snail. What is our motivations? Why we discuss about animal classification? Remember animal classifications, it classifies we have five groups, but we need to discuss about vertebrates and invertebrates, talking about animals with backbones and animals without backbones. Our motivation here, guys, you need to identify whether that particular animal belongs to vertebrates or invertebrates. Here we go. The first one, guys, the first column, we have vertebrates, the first column, and second column is invertebrates. So the following animals here, the names of animals as follows. Sea cucumber. You know what is a sea cucumber class? It's nice. It's spider, crocodile, elephant, and tapeworm. Okay? When you see it, Sea cucumber, here is it edible? Yeah, this is an edible class. Sea cucumber is quite expensive. You know, this is an edible, okay? We can eat 
sea cucumber. But why sea cucumber belongs to animals? Because it moves, it's an action, it has life. But we are going to what you call identify with their sea cucumber belong to invertebrates or vertebrates having backbones or without backbones. Sea cucumber belongs to vertebrates or invertebrates. See? You're done. I am going to write the word sea cucumber to here invertebrates. Rates. I am going, instead to draw a line, I am going to write the word C cucumber. Take note, my dear viewers. Like that. C cucumber belong to invertebrates. That means to say without the presence of vertebral column. Next, guys. We have spider. Spider belong to vertebrates or invertebrates. Remember, spider is what you called. We're not saying house spider, and of course, in the forest, spiders also. So, spider belongs to invertebrates again. There is no skeletal system okay, without the vertebral column, vertebral rather. So we're going to write here, guys. Spider here, okay? Spider. I belong to invertebrates. Next, we have, okay, we're going to put a check mark. That means to say we've already right here. Next, third is crocodile. Crocodile belong to invertebrates or invertebrates? Oh, it's dangerous, right? Animals. It's not pet animals. It's wild animals because it kills us. Crocodile belong to vertebrates. So I'm going to write the word crocodile. Crocodile belong to vertebrates having what you call the skeletal system of vertebral column with the presence of backbone we're going to check, put a check mark next elephant elephant is the largest animals remember my dear viewers so elephant belongs to invertebrates or vertebrates you guys check your work i am going to write here guys two vertebrates because crocodile, obviously, it has what you call vertebral column or with the presence of backbone. Okay, we're going to write here, guys. This is a captivating what we call columns. Next, so I've already put a check mark here. Next is tapeworm, chair, tapeworm. Where's the firm belong? Invertebrates or vertebrates? It's obviously invertebrates. So we're going to write our tape worm. Okay? So is it clear, my dear viewers, for our first what you call the activity we have? Say cucumber belong to invertebrates, spider belong to invertebrates. Crocodile belong to vertebrates. Elephant belong to invertebrates. And tapeworm, my dear viewers, belong to invertebrates. Okay? So, next, we have second drill. Here we go. Okay. We have mosquito. Mosquito, guys, belong to vertebrates or invertebrates? Mosquito belong to insects. That means to say, in vertebrates. Okay, we're going to write in vertebrates here and then put a check mark. That's mos mosquito belong to invertebrates. Next, brittle star. Oh, we've seen it also in a, in a beach rather. Brittle star. 
that belong to vertebrates or invertebrates? C. You have to check it. I am going to write invertebrates, my dear viewers or students, because brittle star doesn't have an skeleton or a vertebral column. Next, octopus. Oh, it's yummy. Octopus. It belong to squid family. That means to say obviously class. And vertebrates. Please follow guys. Please watch this video guys till the end of our discussion. Thank you for that. Chameleon. Oh, it's chameleon. It's what you call it's good for what you call a camouflage, right? It can easily camouflage with, say for example, climbing to other trees, or they can imitate the color of that particular trees. Chameleon, it's a good, it's like lizard family, I'm not, if, is that I'm right? Yeah, it's chameleon. Good for camouflaging. Belong to, obviously, verti braids next shrimp oh my favorite shrimp remember class shrimps belong to vertebrates or invertebrates i'm going to write and vertebrates my dear viewers it has only shell but they don't have a backbone remember that next corals oh i like to put in an aquarium corals right it adds beauty so without the presence of corals, you, my dear viewers, okay, in addition with this, corals is what you call the habitat, natural habitat of fish. It is the breeding places of fish without corals, guys. So there is no small fishes, make to big fish like that. Corals is what you call their natural habitat or natural place. Okay, so corals belongs to vertebrates or invertebrates that is invertebrates that's only a shell like that belongs that finches finches belongs to birds family so that's why finches is if i'm not mistaken my dear viewers vertebrates Please watch this video guys till the end of our discussion and then don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Ram's Tutorial Educational Channel. Let's continue to Toads. Toads belong to Frog Family if I'm not mistaken. So that's why Toads belong to Vertebral Column or Vertebrates. It has a skeleton. Lizard, yeah, lizard also belongs to invertebrates or vertebrates. Okay, that is vertebrates. Okay, vertebrates class because lizard is also what you call a backbone. Next. Whales, oh, whales or blow whales. Remember, it is the largest also fish that they can produce what you call, uh, I think, 100,000 miles like that. And they can also create sounds under the sea. It's a blow whales or a whales, okay? That's botanding in our dialect. So, whales belongs to vertebrates. Okay, that means it has a skeleton or a backbone, my dear viewers. Okay, again, whales, vertebrates, lizard, vertebrates, toads, vertebrates, finches, vertebrates, corals, and vertebrates, shrimp, vertebrates, chameleon, vertebrates, technoclass, octopus, and vertebrates, brittle star, and vertebrates, Mosquito and vertebrates. Next, here, tapeworm and vertebrates, elephant, vertebrates, crocodile, vertebrates, 
spider, and vertebrates, sea cucumber, and vertebrates. Remember guys, before you identify whether that particular animals belong to vertebrates or invertebrates, you are going to what you call master their definitions in each what you call discussion today. Again, invertebrates, keywords, animals without backbone, okay, or without vertebral column. Example, say archins, I like it, squid, clams, leeches, starfish, and snail. Whereas, vertebrates, my dear viewers, keywords, animals with backbone, okay, inside their body. Remember, this particular animal with spinal cord surrounded by cartilage or bone, the word comes from vertebrae, the bones that make up the spine. Examples of vertebrates animals are birds, stingray, dinosaur, turtle, frog, monkey, and shark. Hope you guys, you really understand our topic today about differentiating vertebrates and invertebrates. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and comment to our suggestion back or comment suggestion back below box below rather once again so long class and thank you for watching bye bye and see you for my next video thanks for watching